Okay, welcome back to this next chapter of Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest Mod Edition. Uh, we last left off, we completed the parking garage quest for Larry and then had to evade the police. And you can actually see one of the police officers just hanging out there. It's a funny thing about this game, like as long as you hide out from the cops long enough, they just sort of like forget that you ever existed. Anyway, uh, we're going to get some of these side quests done here today, including including the next segment of the Plague Bear quest. So, really, you kind of go through uh, most of these apartments here. And I'm going to take care of Milligan. I'm going to break into his apartment. This is the dude that was running the uh, reality scare show. Uh, this is his place. It says so on his card. I don't think there's really anything down here, but this guy's got a cool apartment. Kill lines. Really likes neon signs. So here's the Nosferatu photo. This is one of these items that was supposed to be for um, Gary's quests. You know, Gary asks you to get these different items and you bring him to him and he like gives you rewards. Wes put that back in the game. It was taken out of the original game or it was only for Nosferatu players or something like that. But I actually took it out completely because there's only so many items that can exist in the game as, you know, things that you can pick up and look at. And I needed some for some of my quests, so I had to scrap the whole Gary's Retrieval quest, which isn't a really compelling quest line anyways. So, anyways. Here's Milligan. From the hospital? But in my crew, are they... Are they... So you can tell him it was a joke and feed him to Pisha. I think we'll do that, because I want to lose some humanity anyway. It was a joke! They're all waiting for you in the hospital basement. Funny guys. Cha-ching! Really? joke? <laughs> a joke! A joke, right! <laughs> oh, you're funny. Oh, you've got me good. <laughs> I'm going to hurt some people very badly. <laughs> yeah, you do that. So he's going to vamoose back to the hospital, and Peach is going to eat him. Also, if you look at his computer, there's some notes about uh, other things in the game. Let's actually take a look for once. I usually skip this sort of thing, but... Why not? If I have the hacking skills, which you don't. Uh, let's see. Five, I need five, and I've got four. So I think if I just turn on all specs, I'm good. A lot of people don't think about that, I think, is that uh, all specs helps with computer hacking. Uh, I love Haunted LA. Haunted Hill is like the greatest show ever. Oh, this is from Fanboy McGee, which is the uh, bounty hunter from earlier. I told him I'm going to visit all the places you talk about. Hey, you should go to this one hotel that I stayed at one time in Palm Springs. I swear it was haunted. The ghost kept turning on the sink faucet. Maybe he had OCD about washing his hands. LOL. And holy shit, you suck. Haunted LA my ass, even if there were... Such a thing as ghosts and shit, which there ain't. There's no fucking way a goddamn werewolf could be hanging out in Griffith Park. Just who in the hell do you think you're fooling? It's not as if we have real fucking wolves around here for it to hide out with. Hope you get eaten by some flesh-eating monster, you stupid bastard. So that's foreshadowing, of course, for later in the game. What's funny is, when I went to L.A., I went to Griffith Park, I actually did see a coyote. I don't think that's very common, though. Griffith Park is huge, by the way. There could totally be wolves in there. Okay, apartment two. I think this is the one you can just rob. Uh, no, 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 this is Muddy's apartment. Take that stuff. Turn on the answering machine. Let's listen. Location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Everything's across from the bar in the underpass. That's cool. We can continue that quest line. And there's a book up here, if I remember right. Yeah. It's this one. 
Kendo for advanced students. Perfect. I need a higher melee skill because I have so much trouble feeding. All right, the next apartment, number three, that's the one you can rob. I never do it because the money's not that important in this game. Cops show up and it's just a bad scene. Um, so let's go straight to five. Because four is our apartment later in the game. What always struck me as funny about this level is like how disparate the different apartments are. Like we were just in Muddy's apartment and it's like a total shithole. And then like our apartment is like a mansion flat. This one's just like a normal person's apartment. <laughs> Usually the same sorts of people in the same kind of uh, apartments exist within one complex. So this dude's having a bad time. Let's see what his answering machine says. Hi. I think he's got pills. No, I guess not. story is don't go on dates with prostitutes okay I actually know a prostitute named Hannah isn't that funny <laughs> uh, okay let's see if I can remember uh, one two zero three don't ask how I know a prostitute named Hannah by the way <laughs> so she keeps her key back there and It's kind of dark, but actually, if you look at the model, she's got like weird veins and shit. She does not look healthy. Paul, is that? Hey, you're not Paul. Who are nope. You? What are you doing in here? <coughs> uh, let's see. I'm a friend of Paul's. He just wanted me to come and check up on you. He did. Uh, that's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? Yeah, yeah, sure. You sound pretty sick, Hannah. What have you got? <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I, I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. I can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I, I can't remember. Sounds pretty bad. Where did you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually I only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. What can you tell me about this woman? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. Hmm. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Uh, let's see. Where did you meet her, Hannah? Where is Jezebel Locke? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? I think if you tell her the truth, you lose humanity. I'm not sure. Let's find out. I hate to be the one to tell you, Hannah, but Paul's dead. Hmm, I guess she was sicker than she thought. I'm out of here. It's oh. rough. Alright, she's got her journal in here. Check it out. And there's references to other characters. The Bail Bonds guy. Uh, <laughs> Vandal C, that's the dude at the blood bank. David Hatter, we meet him later in Hollywood. Milligan. <laughs> God, I hate that guy. Paul Anderson. I'm pre I should know this, and I'm pretty sure that's a reference to one of the developers. Jezebel Locke. New client. Responded to my ad in the paper. She has a suite at the Empire Hotel. I don't know what to think of this one, but there's something about her. Her voice. I don't know. 
She's offering big bucks, so I guess I can't pass it up. And then we got the key to revolt, so we get some money. Taking dead prostitute money. Her body disappeared like magic. All right. So we are done with the Skyland Apartments, and we can continue on. Actually, not going to go straight away to the uh, hotel until I have the other quest to do there, which is from Venus, who maybe we'll meet if we have enough time. When I made the library, check it out, okay? When I made the library level, I just copied this elevator exactly. So it works so well. By the way, this guy is not normally here. That's an unofficial patch. Oh, and, and there's a pervert in the basement that has cameras and he's watching everybody in the building. But there's a guard, so if you go downstairs, he shoots you and then the police show up and it seems like a bit of an overreaction for trespassing, but what do I know? Uh, also, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but since I completed the uh, mugger quest, I should see her down around town uh, randomly, and she's like a permanent blood doll. That's like one of the cool things about uh, Klein Quest Mod. It adds that. You get your private, uh, easy source of blood. Yo, partner. I got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here after him. All right, let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll give you a discount from now on. Sorry. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm gonna give me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, <laughs> the expensive shit. You wanna come? <laughs> my treat. I'm pretty sure this quest is a reference to Pulp Fiction with the mysterious briefcase and the valuable unknown contents within. Uh, let's see. I'll have to pass. I'm unavailable during the day. Say, my girl down at Confession, named Venus Day. She acting around for someone with skills to... Well, I let her tell you. I'll give her a call and recommend you if you're interested. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out, but first I need to buy some merchandise. Man, what you do with all this stuff, I don't want to know. <laughs> Just keep that cash flowing. <laughs> I will, Larry. Let's see. Can I sell some of the stuff? I can't. I got it. Where did I get the axe from? Which is better? This axe is better. So, uh, keep a blunt weapon around. I don't need this Mac 10, so I'll sell that. And... Dinosaur eggs. <laughs> I haven't heard these yet. Let me see if I can get him to say one more thing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad Wes figured that out. I, you know, I bitch about a lot of the things that um, Wes adds to the unofficial patch, and he sure knows it, but... For everything that I'm pissed off about, I'm so glad that he adds stuff like that back to the game. Alright, so we're going to talk to Venus. He did add this thing, though. The uh, turnstile. I took that shit right out because it was pissing off everybody. Right, we're going to talk to her later, too. Um, you can dance, I think. I think this is the one that's bugged. One of these clubs is bugged. You can't dance very easily. Fuck it. All right, let's talk to Boobs McKenzie here. Everybody comes in here, Scott Taylor Short has rules. Inhibition, the first thing to go. Two more of these, and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beef priestess, and it's time to confess. By the way, since we're on the topic of boobs, and I think it works with this model, it doesn't work with all of them. But for those of you who don't know, there's a console command called money, which increases boob size percentage-wise. So if we do like one point, there we go. So now her boobs are 40% bigger. Let's see if we can take her seriously like this. Who are you? 
Uh, let's see. The few nights ago, the life I knew was obliterated. Hmm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. I think 20% is like the max level we can go before it's just ridiculous. Uh, let's see. I voted Republican one time. Really? I don't think I've got anything in this place that's going to wash away with that sin. But you know what? Fuck it. Nothing exciting ever happens in heaven anyway, right? Yeah, being an angel sucks. Oh, yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? Intrigued? Go on. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. A couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. I'll do it. Actually, yeah, I'll do it. Mm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Check Hotel. Check this out. Let's get ridiculous. <laughs> Never mind, bro. You can run, right? Never mind. Just don't go studying. All right, that's enough of that. The street fights all right. These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priestess. Later, darling. Back in a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, how are we gonna deal with that? I'll just deal with it. Let's talk to Patty. <laughs> I knew. She's super to fucking annoying. I swear, you were all like totally drawn to me. I can totally see why Skelter wants this girl dead. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. <laughs> um, vampires, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Okay. His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. I feel like that line was written by someone who doesn't know about fashion. Um, I do know him. I saw him recently. You are totally awesome. <laughs> now, it just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cool or have a lot of power to be a cool person. <laughs> <laughs> So you can send her a couple of places. Uh, let's see. The band at the bottom of an abandoned hospital. He's planning a rave there. Oh, that's totally Kent. He's so like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Just go on down there. He'll be looking for you. All right. So she's gonna go get eaten by a Pisha as well. Gotta feed the beast. So let's go do this quest for Venus real quick. The physics system in this game is so bad. Mostly you just trip over stuff. Ugh. Like what was that even doing there? Get out of here. All right. So maybe I'll be able to dominate the uh, Russians into fucking off, but we'll see. Yeah, no sign of my blood doubt. If not, then we've always got blood purge and a fire axe. Fission, peach send you. That she did. Money, where is money? <laughs> she told me to tell you she doesn't have the money. No money. You already received the money. Yeah, the bitch will be back next month. <laughs> Great, perfect. Let's go turn that bad boy in. Right back where we were just at. By the way, Collide. This band is fucking awesome. I learned about them from this game. I think they were supposed to be in the soundtrack. They. They weren't, ultimately, but I started listening to them. They're pretty cool. Very gothic. Very much my shtick. OK. 
Okay. What? Pass on your message. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Okay. I'm afraid I'm not following. When I saw this club, I had to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Go on. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Good is done. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to out each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse Sounds levels. like me. Uh, I hope someday I can write dialogue as cool as this. Um, let's see. When I get back, we'll talk about our club. Alright, so I think we're just about out of time for this episode, so I'm going to save the game, call it a night, and as always, thanks for watching.